Hi folks, this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant, your CCMC, continuing on with our lesson on caricature essential documents. We covered in our last video the necessity for having an introductory inquiry letter. Uh, the second thing that we're going to focus on is, uh, the second and third rather, is our promotional items. This is, these are your flyers, these are your business cards. Now I have two examples um, that I'm going to show you of what I've used over the years and uh, what you want to do in a business card, you want to be as dramatic as possible. You want to include some type of graphic in the business card. You know, whether you can do that with, with the type, you can do that with having, you know, a small picture, a small piece of artwork, you know, but make sure that it's something visual. Business cards are something that's not used um, a lot, you know, in today's digital economy. And I, you know, and for that, that, it's for that reason, you know, that I recommend that you use them because we're trying to do things that make us memorable in the minds of people. And as I stated in a previous video, uh, there's something about having something tangible in your hand that makes it a little bit more memorable than having something digital, which people have a tendency to uh, forget about. It gets lost. But I suggest you do make both. You know, have a digital uh, business card, you know, that you can send out in your email promotions, and also have a tangible business card that you can give out at your parties or special events or even on the street. Um, the flyer, that is an essential piece of documentation that you need to make yourself memorable and successful. Uh, I don't know why a lot of artists don't use it. I have actually been at events where people are lined up, they have people who have been drawn and want to recommend the artists to other people and uh, they don't have anything to take away in their hands. I've had people who, I, I've seen people who haven't been drawn but wanted to and want some kind of visual memento of the occasion and they have nothing that you're putting in their hands. Consequently, they forget about the whole event, they might talk about you, but they have nothing tangible to remember you by or to show anybody else and that's where the flyer comes in. The flyer has to of course display as many pieces of your artwork as possible or you know a very prominent piece of artwork of yours um, and um, it just basically tells who you are, what you do, what you provide, how you can help the client, your contact information as far as your phone number, you know, and your email address, that's it. Doesn't have to include your address. In fact, I really frown against doing that because, let's face it, there are some crazy people out here. You don't want everybody to know your address. You're just trying to make a little money. You're just trying to make a living. Okay, so that's what you need with the flyer. And I have included um, examples, you know, that I have used with great success you can copy the format of them or you can use it as an inspiration to create your own. But I guarantee that you, you have these flyers on tap and you carry them with you because you never know when you're going to meet somebody who um, you know, might be interested in your services. I'm a big promoter, uh, I'm a big proponent of pasting flyers the old school way, that's how things got done. We pasted flyers, you know, in coffee shops, uh, in uh, places that people hang out a lot. Um, since you are a, uh, since I'm so excited, I'm, I'm tripping over my words because the memory is just kind of flooding in here. So bear with me, bear with me, we'll get through this. I, one place that I used to always post at was Party City and stores like it. And why is that? Well, because it's obvious, because it's a party store. If people are in Party City or a store like that, then they are automatically, then you know that they're thinking about parties. Now, they might already have their lineup that they're going to do, 
or they might be in the process of considering uh, um, you know what what they're going to do in terms of entertainment and there you are outside the store with the flyer for you as a caricature entertainer you'll be surprised that even in this day and age there are some people who have not had their caricature done at a party I can't tell you how many times I've had a client come up to me and say this was such a great idea I never would have thought having a caricature artist at my party and I just you know, scratch my head and take their money <laughs> with a smile <laughs> with a smile of uh, of course but yeah that's what you can do hang out at Party City and stores like it um, Starbucks is a great place to hang around Starbucks well maybe Dunkin Donuts maybe but definitely Starbucks you know just distribute your, your, your flyers there anywhere that there are parents and children another great place where you can distribute your flyers are churches churches are always having events they're always looking for fun wholesome uh, reasonably cost uh, events you know for their youth you know for their uh, congregation members and caricatures just work great synagogues also a gold mine and here's why because somebody is always turning 13 it's a constant thing and so you're gonna have some girl turning 13 she's gonna have a bat mitzvah you're gonna have some guy turning 13 it's gonna be a bar mitzvah and it goes on and on and on and on and here you are with your flyers handing them out in fact in the case of the rabbi um, I, I would I, it, I would recommend I would recommend you know seeing the rabbi personally and having a meeting you know with him about it you know so why should you do all the hard work you can just give him the flyers explain who you are what you do you know to uh, uh, the rabbi and have him hand them out hand it out you know that goes kind of into uh, what I said in a previous video on a letter of inquiry you know so you might want to send a letter of inquiry uh, to the rabbi first prior to uh, coming there with the flyers or you can just show with the flyers either way but it is a definite necessary part of your repertoire as a caricature entertainer and business person and I guarantee you if you follow this method it will get you work guarantee it this is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling your creative caricature marketing consultant your CCMC